great expectation building in the lead up to kick off here a little bit grey overhead and indeed the forecast is for a drop or two of rain as the day grows older but regardless of that there is a lovely backdrop here the ambience is good smashing noise from both sets of supporters and expectations high in both camps unmistakably this is the Camp Nou staging a game in the way only the Camp Nou can Crowd rises for the national. The lineup we have suggests it's going to be a 4 5 1 formation, Jim. Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where, yes, they'll have a 4 5 1 shape off the ball and ideally a, a 4 3 3 shape on it. We often see that. 4-1-4-1 shape too and that has an obvious flexibility about it it's a it's a popular managerial selection because of that it's just extremely flexible with all the numbers I've mentioned so it's away we go then it's being played forward and that's been levered clear Goes for the cross. Looking for a corner. Cleared away. And it's got through. Intervention was very necessary. And he's there to cut it out. Lee Kang in. It can only get better, this. We haven't seen a shot yet, and I'm hoping that when we do, it'll spark a whole series of them, because it needs livening up. Goes direct to the front line. Half an hour played now. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? Here it comes. Gets into a dangerous position. That has put a stop to that. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Cooks through there. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? And he has been fouled there. It's hoisted clear. And it's played forward. Gets it back. Hoists it forward. Yep, it's a corner. And he just whacks it away. That'll be the final action of the first half. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. How would you review the first half? It's been a pretty abject performance. No efforts at goal, 
I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that. So they head in no further forward. The score here still nil-nil. That gets things going for the second half. Jordan pretty fortunate not to be trailing at half time. They've been lackluster and, and second best for me. And if ever a situation demanded a telling off from the boss, it's this one. He has to spark a reaction. Forward it goes. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Tries to get it forward quickly. Yeah, it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Li Kang in. Hoists it forward. Oh, they can break here. Up towards the front line. Out to the left it goes. Into the box. And he's there to clear it. And it's Son Hyung Min. South Korea cannot afford to waste this if they want to avoid extra time. There are a few waiting for it. Swung in towards the middle. And back out it comes. He's gone for it! Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. And back to base. He's found his man. Collective sigh of relief from the defence. Well, I think the opposition was pretty sloppy in creating the problem for themselves then, but he was onto it so quickly and very nearly made them pay. Thirty more minutes, no winner after 90. Well, nil-nil doesn't offer a fair reflection of what we've seen. The game's been vibrant, I think the atmosphere has remained buoyant and we just need the scoreline to step into line. So a short respite for the players as they prepare themselves for another 30 minutes. Into extra time we go. Forward it goes. Battles to win it back. Son Hyung Min. Looking for space out wide. This is quite a run and he's not done yet. That is terrific skill. No foul, says the referee. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. Aimed in towards the centre. Good take by the keeper, he's read that well. Half-time, extra time. Well, we have 
have to accept that penalties are now a realistic possibility. I think that either side is settling for that, given what a lottery penalties can be. The players are evidently tired, and it may come to that. And so the last chance to find a winner. 105 minutes of football, and it is still goalless. It is going to come down to one moment. Keeper sends it forward. He goes long. Dangerous looking ball. And it's come to nothing. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Hoists it forward. He's got options out wide. Tries to get it clear. There's the whistle, and it is going to penalties. Yeah, I think both defences will receive the plaudits for respective clean sheets, but the players have run and worked to the point of exhaustion, so nobody will be questioning their appetite to, to get it won. The referee has ended the second half of extra time. All square. Some weary legs out there, so who has it left in them to take a penalty? Boy, you can feel the tension. So, the first penalty. No, it's been saved! Well, that's great concentration from the keeper and a wonderful save. Oh, I saved it! He's so focused there, fantastic save. So, the second man in line. Terrific penalty, unsavable. Looks like he's done it a thousand times, never looked like missing. Utterly decisive, right down the middle. Always a little more pressure when you're trailing, but it didn't show. Oh, that was a great strike. He just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. The third man in the queue. It's in, too smart for the keeper. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper and he guessed wrong. Back off the post. Oh, that's so unlucky to hit the goal frame. Lee Kang in, here's the fourth man to step forward for them. Cooley does it. Well, it's never easy to step up and take a penalty, but he slotted that home with authority. So the ball is placed on the spot. Lest you need reminding, miss this, and it is over. It's in, he's kept the minute. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. That's it! It is done! So, in the end, heartbreak. A few of them inconsolable. But this is what footballing fate had stored up for them. It is nasty. Oh, this is so tough on the penalty taker as the heroes celebrate. Right now, it's a horrible experience. But they really should try and get those chins up. So, that's it for today. Thank you, Jim. And good afternoon, all.